Hello and welcome to my channel Crying Fly. My name is Steve and today I will show how can you install Fusion 360 on Ubuntu. Yes, Ubuntu. I have created this video because some pupils have uh, problems to running Fusion 360 on their systems. Uh, maybe um, the internet connection uh, goes wrong or another uh, problems and Today I will show how can you solve it, these problems. Okay, we change to my desktop and then we can start. So here we are on my GitHub channel Crying Fly. And the next one is we change to my project folder here. Um, Fusion 360 Linux Wine version and here you can found some manuals and pictures and videos um, yes here is my manual for the installation of Fusion 360 on a Linux system in my uh, case is this uh, OpenSUSE Leap 15.2 and here is the wine version 5.0 but um, I use now the wine version 6.5 yes 6.5 and this works also here with Fusion 360 on OpenSUSE uh, Leap 15.2 and yes okay but today I will show how you can install Fusion 360 on Ubuntu uh, in the version 20.04.2 and here is my manual but before we change to the, this one here and here we can see now, now um, yes here it is the version okay and this one is very very important because I have changed the version on Ubuntu and the wine version when you install Ubuntu then you get the uh, uh, then is the current version of wine um, 5.0-3 Ubuntu 1 and this version has a bug because um, when you um, running uh, Fusion 360 then it can be that you um, log in with your account data but um, after this one you get an arrow um, with that you have no internet connection and this is the problem with this wine version here and to and when you solve this problem then you must install a neuro version of wine maybe the, the version 6.0 or the 6.5 um, the version 6.5 I have installed um, with uh, with my nah, with this test uh, machine here where I've installed Ubuntu 20.04.2 and with this version here with the stacking version of wine it works okay so but um, yes okay we change to my menu here and um, when you have installed um, the newer version of wine um, oh yes okay what uh, wait we change to this one here you're opening the wine hq.org um, Ubuntu here and then you must select your version here and then you have here the command for installation the stable version of wine this is the 6.0 version or you uh, select the stacking version this is the 6.5 version 
Okay, so we come back to my menu. And when you have completed this, then you must uh, also install Lutris because this program we need later um, to running um, Fusion 360 with a special runner. And yes, so, and uh, here is the comment, okay. Here can you add this repository then you must uh, make an update and after this we install this package. Okay, so then I have um, some problems. Um, maybe on my uh, test machine I have this problem where I get an arrow um, with the wine bind and this problem you can solve it when you install this package and after this one I get uh, I doesn't get an arrow okay so um, yes so and what you're doing now is you must um, follow these steps here from 1 to 13 and when you have um, complete this then we change to Lutris and you must uh, and you can running this program in Lutris. Okay, so I have also um, installed Lutris here on OpenSUSE for to show you this one. Or we can also um, ah, yes, okay, we change to this one here. Um, yeah, I have um, so this one here is the configuration here um, that can you doing when we starting here Lutris okay and here can we also seeing this configure or you go you here to the plus at game okay then you give it this a name Fusion 360. Select the runner. It's important that you select this one here, the wine. Wi um, yes, the wine runner. Then you go to game options. Um, then you must um, copy this one here, but you must uh, also change uh, here the username. In my case is uh, my username is Steve. Or you have uh, two other uh, ways to um, put this one here. You can go to your start menu, wine, and with a right click maybe here. Can you also copy this one here in Lutris? Or you go here on browse. Then you must go to your wine prefix. In my case, it's uh, point wine here in my home folder. Drive C, program data, Microsoft, Windows, start menu, programs, Autodesk. And now we can click on this. OK. And here is it. This one here, the arguments we doesn't need for this one here. Um, but when you make maybe here the, the step 12, this one we can also make uh, in Lutris. Then you um, must copy this one this here. Oh, wait, here, this one, copy. And input here and then you must copy this one to the first line here okay but now um, I have I have here starts with the step 14 
um, because um, the steps 1 to 13 we can um, um, make without Lutris and yes so we come back um, deleting this one here then you must um, change this uh, uh, change then you must add the working directory in our case is this fusion 360 in our home folder wine prefix is the standard um, when you have another wine, uh, wine prefix then you must add this one here um, yes so, so then we come to the next one runner options and here it's important that you select the version root, root fi uh, minus 5.0 um, this one we can install when we go here on the left side uh, manage versions and then we must scroll down and then you select this one install this and then we can then after all uh, the installation here select this one here so then it's important that you um, must click on this one here use system wine tricks um, now we can see here the new version of dxyk this is the version 1.8.1 l in my first video where I have show you the installation of Fusion 360 uh, with Wine, I have used, I think, the version 1.70.3, or I don't know now. And here is this the version 1.8.1 L. But you can also select another one here and yes so then we change to the system options and here it's important that you uh, unselected the preferences system libraries here okay and then we can save this one here and after this one we uh, and click on play and yes so um, we go to my video here this video you can also find here uh, finding here um, on this one here testing with Ubuntu 20.24.2 and Lutris and when you scroll down here then you can find this video here okay so by starting this one here I show you also um, the configuration of this one here and Lutris we change this one here now come on so No, where is it? Okay, yes, okay. I search for the point. Okay, yes. Okay, now I running this program here in Ubuntu. Takes a while. Okay, here's the first arrow. Um Okay, the second arrow, okay, okay, and then we can see now, come on. Come on, yeah, here you can see now that uh, 
that this program here works and so and then you must uh, only change um, the graphics driver here to OpenGL okay reboot this program yes okay and after all this one come on we are here and now you can see here and we are on the simulation workspace now we are on the construction workspace in the rendering workspace and yes it works so that was for today and when you like my video then we are good when you give me a thumb up please and don't forget to subscribe to my channel crying fly and don't forget to click on the little bell here so you don't miss any news in the future Okay, goodbye.